The other day I had worked all day long on a text of scripture, the text of scripture that deals with doubting Thomas, who says that he will not believe that Jesus has been resurrected from the grave unless he can actually touch the wounds of Jesus. And yet, by the time the text ends, he believes without having put his hands into the nail prints or into the gaping hole left by the spear. That night, I went to bed, and sometime during the night, I had a, a strange dream. I dreamed that I was being followed by two dogs, a black and a white dog, except that the dogs didn't look anything like dogs. They simply looked like two black and white torpedo shapes on a leash held by some nebulous figure. No features of any kind, no tail, no ears, no eyes, no legs or paws, just two shapes, black and white torpedo shapes, persistently following me. Somewhere in a railway station outside of London, I dreamed that I was walking away from the two dogs when uh, an invisible force, uh, an invisible energy came out of the dogs and entered into me. And the force, the energy, was a word of wisdom. It was a message. It was, in fact, a line from a poem by Robinson Jeffers, which says, in the invulnerable beauty of things, we see the face of God. When I awoke and slowly sat up in bed and asked myself, what was that all about? I thought, of course, it is, it is the sermon. It, this is Thomas's homily. Uh, in the invulnerable beauty of things, we see the face of God. It is not a scientific analysis or the use of academic logic that draws Thomas into faith, but it is a beauty that, that draws himself into the essence of truth and goodness and love, a beauty which leaves him exclaiming, my Lord and my God, in the invulnerable beauty of things, we see the face of God.